got the captains out here shaking hands. Captains from left to right. We've got Ryan Rooney, Jack Malore, Chris Moran, Nick Gargiulo, and George Donahue, number 45, shaking hands with the opposing captains. The coin was tossed. And let's see what we got here. Looks like uh, Smithtown, Nessa Quake has won the toss. And they look like they will likely be kicking. They have deferred. William Packer has elected to receive. And we'll be taking the ball out from 35, moving the ball from left to right. We'll be back in a moment to get this, this game started. Okay, Nessequick football fans, it is Tuesday, October 16th. A little bit of a late start here. 4.15 has turned into 4.40, getting this game started. We've got Nessequick in red. We've got the William Packa Colonials from the William Floyd District in white and gold. They'll be carrying the ball first from left to right. First and 10 from the 35, and off we go. What number? Ball goes up the middle and is brought down just off tackle. Pick up of two. Second down, eight to go from the 37. Quarterback keeps, rolls out to our defensive left. Brought down for a loss by Nick Bargiulo. Big tackle, big loss. That should be a loss of seven maybe or more. After a seven down, a seven yard loss on the previous play, we've got third down and 15 to go from their own 30 yard line. Receiver in motion. Settles back behind the quarterback. Hands up to number one, off tackle. And he is broken loose. Brought down after a pickup of about 10 or 12. Brings up fourth down. Fourth and two to go here for Packer. They elect to go for it. Number one settles back behind the fullback. We got early movement there. That's going to push him back. Number 12 went early. Maybe they'll change their mind on going for it here. Fourth and two turned into fourth and seven. Packer still elects to go for it here. Big long pass, picked off by Galati, number 81 is carrying, Oops. and he is brought down at the pack of 46 yard line, turnover either way, nice job uh, Galati. Alright, we're getting our first look at the Nessequake offense here. Shotgun formation, two backs in the backfield. And off to Rooney. And he makes it into the end zone. Quick play there, quick feet by Rooney. Big touchdown. Six points quick on the board. After that uh, long run by Rooney, we've got an extra point attempt coming up. Number four, Brennan Hanley is back to kick. Good snap, good set. The boot is up. And it is through. Two points on the board. Nessequake goes up eight zip here in the early in the first quarter. Back in a moment. Okay, and we're back. First and ten for Packer coming up here. Colonial's got the ball on the 35-yard line. Handoff goes off tackle. Ball pops out. I think they whistled it dead anyway, but it was recovered by a Colonial player, so they'll retain possession. Forward progress was stopped on the... Ah, they're marking that back in the line of scrimmage. No gain. Second down coming up. Second and ten for the Colonials on their own 35-yard line. Ball comes to our left, is brought down by Michael Devlin and Nick Gargiulo, numbers 14 and 25 respectively. 
<clears throat> Third and ten coming up for the Colonials. Still on their 35-yard line. Ball on the left hash mark from our defensive perspective. Is this called like that bow and arrow on the update? Hands off to number one who goes off tackle and is brought down. Oh, big tackle there. Let's see who that was. I think that was Chris Moran, number 24, in on that tackle. Fourth and nine for the Colonials. They are in an offensive uh, setback here. We got three backs in the backfield. Quarterback hands off to number one who sweeps off and is brought down near or around the line of scrimmage for nearly no gain. That'll be a turnover on downs. The Bulls will take over on the 36 or 7 yard line. Back in a moment. First and 10 for the Bulls on the 38 yard line, looks like. Pitch out to Moran on the left side. He's off to the races. Flag down on the field. And that unfortunately will likely be called back. Good run by Moran. I'm going to guess that was a hold, but we'll see in a moment. Okay, unfortunately there was a holding call on that last play. Moved the Bulls back 10 yards. So we've got first down and 20 to go from the pack of 48 yard line. Long snap, pitch goes the other way this time to Gargiulo, who runs up the middle. Still running. Beats his man and off to the races. Gargiulo runs up the middle, punches through. Six more points on the board. Penalty negated. After a long run by Gargiulo, we're up for an extra point attempt here. Brennan back to kick. The snap is good. The place is good. good. The boot looks good as well. He's got the angle. He's got the distance. Two more points on the board. That puts the Bulls up 14 zip here. Still in the first quarter. We'll be back in a moment. All right. After the Bulls put up another touchdown and extra point, we're back with a colonial possession here again, starting on the 35 yard line. Moving the ball from left to two right. Ball goes up the middle, and he's gobbled up very quickly by number 14, Michael Devlin. After a one-yard pickup, we've got second down and nine to go. Three backs in the backfield. Quarterback drops back to pass. He scrambles. Connects to number 17, brought down by Rooney and couldn't see who else. Maybe that was Moranian on the tackle helping out. Third and one for the Colonials. Ball is on the uh, what are we at the 49 yard line, 44 yard line rather. Ball goes up the middle. Number 21 runs into traffic and is brought down at around the 47. Does get a first down out of that, so they'll move the chains. First first down for the Colonials today. First and 10 from their own 48-yard line. Quarterback pitches back into the backfield to number one. Who runs through traffic and is. Oh. Looks like there was a fast whistle there, so they called that dead back on the 47 for a loss of one. Okay, we're back after an injury timeout. Number 61, Zachary Wilson, was down with what looked like a lower leg injury. Uh, they've just announced this is likely the last play of the first quarter. First and ten. Actually, maybe it's second and ten. It should be. They didn't change the down marker. Yep. Looks like we've got a neutral zone infraction. So move the ball five yards. <clears throat> and there you go. 
First down and five to go for the Colonials. Uh, first time they've entered the Bulls' territory. Yes. Number eight drops back to pass. Long pass, wide open downfield. And he takes it to the house. Nice play, good pass, good catch. First touchdown, actually first point at all given up by the Bulls yet this season on a long pass from number eight to 17. Six points on the board for Packer. Extra point attempt here for the Colonials. They'll be running an offensive play, it looks like. Quarterback drops back to pass again. Throws it up, and it's out of the end zone. Looking for number 80 at the back of the end zone, but overthrows him. No points there. We're going to finish up the first quarter, 14-6. We'll be back with our second team coming up. All right, we're back opening up the second quarter here. The second teams are on the field. We have flip sides. Ness Quake is taking the ball out here, moving the ball from left to right on your screens at home. Two backs in the backfield, shotgun. Handoff goes to Malore. He goes up the middle, runs into number 26 after a pickup of about four or five. Back in a moment. Second and five for Nessa Quick. Two backs in the backfield. Quarterback hands up up the middle. First down pick up there for number 45, George Donahue. Fresh set of downs for the Bulls. First and 10 from the 48-yard line. Two backs in the backfield. Quarterback number 12, Will Kamenicki back for the long snap. Hands off to Malore. He goes off tackle. Oh, and gets tripped up on the 45-yard line. Got a glimpse of daylight there. Second down and two to go for the Bulls. Kamenicki back for a shotgun. Two backs in the backfield. <laughs> Quarterback keeps it right up the middle. Gets the first down, crosses the 40, and is brought down by a big gang tackle. First down, Bulls. Fresh set of downs for the Bulls again. First and 10 from the 40. Hand off to Mallory, who goes up the middle, weaves through traffic, and picks up about five yards. Second and five for the Bulls from the 35-yard line. Defense shifts. Long snap, Kamenicki keeps it again, goes up the middle, and looks like he's got enough stretch there for another first down. Strong effort there by Kamenicki. Brings up another fresh set of downs, first and 10 from the 30. Kamenicki pitches left. George Donahue is on his horse, and he's brought down after a pickup of maybe two. Second down, eight to go. Two backs in the backfield. Alexander Mengi on the left tight end. Handoff goes to Donahue, who weaves through trouble. And punches his way up to about the 22 or 21 yard line. Just shy of a first down. Third and one from the 21. Slot back. Donahue takes it again up the middle. He carries up to about the 15-yard line. Definitely enough for the first down. They'll move the chains. Fresh set of down, starting out on the 15-yard line here. First and 10 for the Bulls. Handoff goes to the right. Malore is carrying. Wrapped up by the defensive end, number 26, and brought down after a pickup of maybe four yards. Second down, six to go. Oh, 
Oh, he's got him, Michael. Oh. Kamenicki's brought down uh, after a blitz. Maybe a four, five, six yard loss, maybe. All right, after a timeout, we've got third and 11 from the, what is that, the 16 yard line. Malore is gobbled up in the backfield for a loss of two. Pushes him back to the 20 yard line. Fourth down coming up. Brody Ham in the center settles up over the ball. Fourth down coming up. Long to go, about 14 yards for the first down marker. Kamenicki drops back to pass. I like Pass is back to number six. That's Timmy Kinahan. Oh, can't get away from number five. He's brought down behind the line of scrimmage again. And that'll be a turnover on downs. Back in a moment with the first, second team. Offensive strike from William Packer coming up. Okay, first down coming up for the Colonials on their own 20-yard line. Moving the ball from right to left on your screens at home. Two receivers split out wide on one on each side. One back in the backfield. Receiver in motion. He settles in as a tailback. Number 12, quarterback settles back to pass, throws up a long pass. Is completed, I believe. Looks like there were two bulls on that, but no one pulled it in. And maybe a first down. Uh, let's see where they're going to mark that. Oh, it's, it's, yep, yeah, nope, they're giving them first down. First and 10 for the Colonials on the 30 yard line. Number 13 settles back in the tailback position. Hand off to 13, he breaks to his left, comes outside. Bulls are wrestling him down, and he's finally brought down with a big push by Alex Mengi. Also in on the tackle is number 59, Christian Haino. And I think George Donahue was in on that. No, yeah, number 45, George Donahue. All right, there was a penalty on that. Pushed him back 10 yards. I assume it to be a hold. We've got first and 20 from the 20. Let's see, number 84, Ryan Cornwise fired early. That's going to be a neutral zone infraction and move us back five, I believe. First and 15 now after that penalty was assessed. Ball comes here to our defensive right. Oh, breaks through the first tackle. Still getting wrapped up in the backfield. Finally brought down by Jack Malore. Is that the, sorry, I stopped recording here. Is that the end of the first half? I guess that's the end of the first half. All right, we've got halftime coming up. Enjoy the show, folks. All right, second half is opening up here. Bulls will take possession on their own 35-yard line. Moving the ball from right to left. One, two backs in the backfield, two split out. Handoff goes to Rooney. Rooney's brought down after a pickup of maybe one. <clears throat> Second and maybe eight coming up. Two wide outs. And off to Gargiulo. Gargiulo breaks a few tackles. And he is off to the races again. He will go all the way. Touchdown, Nesequig. Six more points on the board. I'm going to correct my previous score call, right? So we got two touchdowns and two extra points. Extra points are worth two each. That puts the score at 16, plus that six-point run by Gargiulo. Puts the point tally at 22. <clears throat> extra point attempt coming up. Number four, Brennan Hanley back to kick. I cannot tell who is down for the set. 
Maybe that's Thomas Azara, the quarterback. The boot is up and short and wide, I believe. No extra point there. Uh, point tally will remain at 22. And we'll be back in a moment. First and 10 for the Colonials from the 35-yard line. Carrying the ball from left to right. Wide out settles behind the fullback, number two. Quarterback passes off to the right side. Number one breaks some tackles, but is met by, can't see who that was, defensive backfield. I think that was Nick Gargiulo making that tackle. After a six yard pickup, we've got second and four. Ball's on the 41 yard line. Again with this motion behind. Quarterback hands off off the middle to number two, who runs into the defensive backfield. Is brought down by, I think that was Chris Moran and I believe Dom Galadian on the tackle. Fresh set of downs for the Colonials. First and 10 from the 49 yard line. Long snap goes way over the quarterback's head. He smothers it back on the 34-yard line for a big loss there. That's going to be about a 15-yard loss. Bring up second down and 25. My guess was right. We got second down and 25 to go here. One back in the backfield. Number 19 going in motion. He takes it. Is brought down, oops, is brought down, smothered by Chris Moran in the backfield for another loss of maybe seven, bringing up a very long third down. Third and very long for the Colonials, back on their own 30 yard line. One wide out to the defensive left. Quarterback drops back to pass. Scrambles. And is brought down after a one yard pickup. That'll bring up fourth and extremely long. Fourth and 30. Colonials are punting. Oh, the punt is blocked. The punt is blocked by Michael Devlin. Number 14 gets a big paw on it and will make that a turnover almost on where the boot was. So we will take over on the 30 yard line. <coughs> First and 10 for the Bulls from the 30 yard line. Gargiulo and Moran in the backfield. A Zara back for the long snap. <laughs> Pitch goes to Gargiulo, ball gets bobbled, and I think it ended up shuffling out of bounds. What are they doing here? Okay, so that was a turnover. They did recover the fumble. Ball turns over. Colonials will get the ball back on their own 29-yard line. We'll be back in a moment with their offensive drive. Need a play analyst in here. Okay, so after that quick turnover, we've got uh, first and 10 from the 29. Colonials moving the ball from left to right. Ball goes up the middle. And ball is stopped in the backfield. No forward progress. All right, we've got uh, second down and 10 to go. Pass off to the left side. Brought down by Rooney for no game. Brings up third down. <clears throat> third and 11 coming up for the Colonials. Two wide outs in, the, in this formation. Number one settles back behind the fullback. Drops back to pass. Pass connects to number two in the backfield, and they lose another yard. 
fourth and 11 coming up for the Colonials. They elect to go for it. Two wide outs on the left side here. Dalia and Rooney in coverage. One back in the backfield. A 14's in! Oh, he missed it! Get him, Steve-O! Pass connects, and they make the first down on that. Almost had him in the backfield. Oh, there's a, there's a hold on the play. That's right. Good eye. Flag down. That'll bring that uh, that, that pro, pro forward progress back. Takes back a 30-yard game. Yeah, there we go. All right, we've got fourth and really long now. There was a flag down on that. I assume it to be a holding call. Uh, looks like they've elected to punt now. Nessequake changing their formation. The boot is up and down. Settles in on about the 28-yard line. Nessequake will take over. <laughs> All right, first and 10 for the Quake, taking over on the 29-yard line. Present score, 22 to 6. Minutes winding down here in the third quarter. Two backs in the backfield. Pitch to Rooney. Rooney breaks it. He's off to the races. And he's in for another touchdown for the Bulls. Six points there for the Bulls. Puts a tally at 28. Extra point attempt coming up. Extra point attempt for the Quake. Brennan back for the kick. Tommy Azara down to set. Snap is good. Set is good. Oh, deflected by the defense. Rolls off into the end zone, and that's a dead ball. 28-6 remains the score. We'll be back in a moment with the defensive possession. All right, we got first and 10 for the Colonials on the 35-yard line. Still moving the ball from left to right. They changed up their formation. They've actually got uh, three backs in the backfield now. There he goes. Number eight hands off to number 19, who sweeps to our defensive right. Pushed down by Brennan Hanley, number four, for a loss of three. After a two-yard loss, we've got second down coming up here with 12 to go. Two wide outs to the left. Long snap. Quarterback scrambles and is brought down for another loss. Two yards back. Third down coming up. <clears throat> All right. So we've got um, what do we got? Third down still here for the Colonials. We we just entered the fourth quarter here. We changed sides. Colonials moving the ball from right to left now. Second team on the field. Number 12 fakes his handoff. Oh, it is almost brought down. Big. Oh wow. That was pretty. So, big hit on the quarterback, number 12, as he released it. He did get the ball off. He did connect with the, with the receiver for about a seven-yard pickup. He was brought down quickly by, I didn't see who, I apologize. But I think it was a cornerback who brought him down. Um, so, uh, nice play, nice defense. Everything was, was pretty on that. <clears throat> Fourth and three to go here for the Colonials. Ball's on the 42-yard line. Number 10 in motion, takes the oh, ball, sweeps back, oh, and yeah, is, bro nice. is brought down at the line of scrimmage for no loss. That'll be a turnover on downs. <laughs> Okay, second team offensive possession here in the fourth quarter. Kamenicki's quarterbacking. Long snap to Cam, hands off to Malore, who goes off to the right. Stays in bounds and oh, just steps out around the 39-yard line. Three-yard pickup leaves second down and seven to go. Kamenicki back for the long snap, two backs in the backfield. Two receivers out to the left. Hard count. What do we got? All right. 
Penalty against uh, Packer. We'll move the ball back five yards. Second down and three to go. All right, we've got second and two after that penalty was assessed. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to. Handoff goes to Malore, who shakes off a tackle in the backfield, finds a hole off tackle, and brings the ball up. Picks up a first down. Ah, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. After Malore's first down, we've got, excuse me, our first down pickup. We've got first and 10 from the 30. Two backs in the backfield, two out to the left. Malore goes up the middle. And, well, I'm moving the camera a too much on that. Brought down after a pickup of six. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting all choked up about it. <clears throat> second and four, second and five. Pitch to the left to Malore. Off he goes. Not, oh, maybe just got to the first down. I'm not sure. Third and one. Mangi split out. No, sorry, it's not Mangi. Who is that on the right? Look at there was some motion on the line there. Donahue takes the ball to the left. Oh, Off tackle. Touchdown, George Donahue, number 45. Second team edge, six more points to the board, putting the score to 34. Extra point attempt coming up. <clears throat> Extra point attempt coming up for the Quake. Kamenicki down to hold. I believe it's Malori back to kick. Snap is no good. And Cam is brought down after protecting the ball. No extra point there. Keeps the score at 34-6. Back in a moment. What the hell are you doing? <clears throat> okay, first down coming up for the Colonials. <laughs> oh, whoops. Three backs in the backfield. Quarterback under center. Hands off to the fullback who is brought down promptly after a pickup of maybe one. All right, we've got second down coming up. Eight to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. <laughs> Number three settles back. Oh! That was number 59. 59 is Christian Haynow, who made it into the backfield, jumped to block the pass. The pass never got off. He went to tackle. And eventually the ball got off, but incomplete. Third and nine for the Colonials. Quarterback on the center, number 10 in motion. Hands off to the sweeping end. Brought down by number 54, or 64, that's, that's number 64. James Tedeschi, I believe, with a little help from number six, uh, Tim Kinahan. Great job, guys. All right, we've got a fresh set of, yeah, sorry, fourth down here, no gain on that. Fourth and nine, number 10 in motion again. We had some motion uh, at the line of scrimmage. What do we got? I think we're gonna call neutral zone infraction. All right, after that uh, penalty was assessed, they moved the ball forward five yards. It's now fourth and four from the 41 yard line. Number 10 in motion again. Hands off to the sweep. Oh, they almost had it on the backfield. Oh. He cuts the corner. Breaks number 12. Oh, breaks number 6. Takes it to the house, number 10. It's got the wheels, put six points on the board for the Colonials, bringing the score to 34 to 12. Extra point coming up. Extra point attempt for the Colonials. Looks like they're running an offensive play. Three backs in the backfield, goes to the fullback up the middle. Number 26 is brought down for maybe a one yard gain. No extra point, their tally will remain at 12. And we'll come back with the Nessa Quake offense coming up. 
All right, as we enter the mysterious middle school fifth period, we've got the second teams on the field. Nessa Quake has the ball. They'll be carrying from left to right, starting out on their 35-yard line. Two backs in the backfield. Handoff goes to Mallory, who goes off tackle, breaks the corner. Stiff arm, steps out of bounds around the 49 or so. First, uh, first down pickup for Mallory, and they'll move the chains. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, first and ten on the 49-yard line. George Donahue, whoa, big tackle by number five. Brings him down for a loss of one. Uh, we have had a change at the quarterback position. Looks like Connor Bonanuto is in now at QB. Second and a little more than 10 to go. Big snap, Connor hands off. Oh, oh he recovers the fumble. That'll be a loss of about five yards. Come on, guys. All right, we've got third and 15 coming up here for the Quake. Two backs in the backfield. And the snap never gets off. That'll roll us back another couple of yards, bringing up fourth down. Fourth and 15 coming up here for the quick. I should point out that the sun is dropping rapidly, along with the temperature. That aside, uh, my guess here is they're probably only going to do maybe one or two possessions here uh, and call it a day because they're going to run out of daylight quickly. Boys, uh, boys are up for the snap. Snap goes off. Connor rolls out. Passes to... Who was that? 64? Was that uh, Tedeschi that caught that? I can't see. 84. All right, so Bonanudo rolls out. Bonanudo rolls out, connects with the pass to Ryan Cornweiss on that reception. I think they're going to say that they are out of daylight as predicted. I've been doing this a long time. And uh, we're going to go shake hands. Enjoy your ride home, everybody. Be sure to check out the video at uh, Red Wolf Video Productions channel on YouTube. And look for an email from your coaches.